people what's up it's been a while this is Xavier John and we are on my channel Explorer Atlas if you hear that sound there's Garba going on behind me so uh, we are headed towards Goa getting our tickets here was a hassle my tickets were not confirmed till the last minute but I somehow managed to get a Tatkal ticket just check out the hassle that had gone through just to get that Tatkal ticket and I'm waiting at the Tatkal counter uh, because my tickets are not booked, it's not reserved yet. Uh, it's still in the waiting list. And since I had booked it online, I cannot even travel with the one that I already have. So, let's see, I'm hoping to get a Tatkal ticket. And if we get a Tatkal ticket, then I'll be able to travel. So, once I get this, I'll be cancelling my uh, waiting list ticket. So, let's see how that thing works out uh, for now. We've been waiting in the Tatkal line since 5 a.m. We're just waiting for the counter to open. It's not yet opened. It's right now it's 10, 10 20. Tatkal counter is gonna open at 11. So let's hope fingers crossed we get a good ticket. We get a reserved ticket so that we can travel. I'll see you all there. We were assuming S8 was supposed to be behind but now we have to go over here because they have changed the coach locations so we are waiting now now I have just reached near S8 station now we've boarded our train we've got our seats we've got sleeper berths finally and uh, now we are headed off so we're just waiting for the train to start and i'll see you all soon people we have reached thivim we are currently at thivim station and now I am headed off to the taxi stand. This is the train that we had come in. The train was supposed to reach here by 8, 8.15 prox. It's almost 10 o'clock now, so we are about 1 hour 45 minutes late. Indian Railways. It's one of the best. It's the most economical. But again, delays keep happening. Uh, Nothing can ever be perfect, right? So yeah. So we are headed off to the taxi stand now. So let's see what we get, whether we get a public transport, taxi, whatever. And let's head off to the place where I'm staying at Anjana. I'll show you guys there. We started our journey from my place at 9.30 and we travelled to Vasai station. From there on we boarded our train which was delayed by 30 minutes and travelled to Thivim station. Once we reached Thivim station we had to take a public transport. If you can even take a cab. We took a public transport from Thivim station to Mapsa and we had to change again from Mapsa to Anjana. We had to get off at Anjuna Crossroad. Public transport there is available after every 10 to 15 minutes. So plan your travel accordingly. So what's up people? Let me show you guys the place I'm staying at. This is the place. Isn't it beautiful? So this homestay is called D Bay 8. I'll put the location and all the details of the owners and all of those things down in my description. So please check that out. This is a really, really affordable place, budget friendly, pocket friendly place and beautiful. Trust me, it's beautiful. And I'm going to show you the place. Since it's newly built, you would be amazed to see how good this place is, how clean this place is, how tidy this place is. So yes, I'm going to show you. Are you ready? This is the entrance. This is where the owner lives. So his name is... 
Ascension D'Souza and now we are headed out to the homestay it's actually at his backyard this is his little garden he plants trees wonderfully made garden see check this out Brinjal plantation there's one more out here we'll see I guess this is Chiku. And here, this is where the homestay begins. So basically they've got three rooms. One over here. The second one is here. This is his backyard. They've got a huge backyard over here. He plans on making a small little, you know, a garden, a farm kind of thing where he grows, he could grow some vegetables and stuff. So this is the place, d -bay it. I showed you all the first room. There are two rooms over here. The doors are right here. We've got this room. Let me show you the room. There's a sitting area here. Hi, mommy. Hi. A huge bed. It's good enough for three people to sleep peacefully. And Here we've got the kitchen, we've got a mini fridge here, the equipment is an induction, a kettle, water, basin, and the bathroom is amazing, check this out. I told you guys this is a newly built place, it's very clean, kept really very well. So that's the place guys and uh, that's about it for today. This is part 1. Stay tuned for a lot more to come. I'm gonna go sightseeing now. There's a lot more that we are gonna check out. So stay tuned. I'm gonna soon upload the second part. That's it for today. My name is Xavier John. Keep traveling. I'm gonna sign off now. Bye bye.